Ooh, fancy! Roar! Sorry for the video ending right there. The camera died, so we're just going to reshoot this. And uh, we're dressed up for the Academy Awards today, so Holy we're excited for this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> well, not only that, but uh, since I think the uh, PlayStations were working designs hit the big time, so I figured upgrade the lighting, upgrade, you know, her dress, anyways. <laughs> So we can show off what I think are the cream of the crop of working designs as games. Let me know what you guys think of the new lighting setup. I might need to adjust a little bit and not, you know, I'm still looking into it. So. Okay, so if you could bring actually the black box. Before we get into that. This one? Pot, yes, the black box. Here we go. These, this is my collection of working designs PlayStation 1 games. Uh, before I go into any kind of detail about these, I do not have any of the shoot 'em ups for the PlayStation, unfortunately. I don't have Ray Crisis, Ray Storm, or Thunder Force 5, so. You probably do somewhere, I just don't happen to have them on. Somewhere, I don't know. So. Anyways, like we mentioned earlier, uh, Working Designs had variations on their discs. Now, the really cool thing about games like Alundra is that it had a variation on the disc. If you could open up the other side. Oh. Ta -da. Not only on the disc, but on the backgrounds Ooh, as well. <laughs> so each release, uh, Lundra, I believe, had about eight different Six disc variants. shiny foil. Yeah, and still, still sticking with the shiny foil. Not only that, but on the side, don't know how well you can see it, but the uh, lettering here on the side of the on the spine here is shiny too, so it really stands out when you're looking at it at, when, at your collection when it's you know, spine's facing out. So, really cool thing that they continue to do here. Now, I really like the way they did the packaging for Elemental Gear. That one looks beautiful, in my opinion. Not only do they have a kind of a, a foil background, but they have it stamped in foil here too. And just the the way the background. A contrast with the lettering looks really, really good on this. And uh, as you can tell, they still have the, uh, the, the you know, the shiny gold lettering it's on the back. It's embossed, too. It's, like, it's embossed. punched in. Yeah, it's punched it. in. And then this is a GunCon game. So if you still have your gun cons from all your Time Crisis games on the PS1, well, yeah. they work for this sucker, too. Time Crisis Project Titan, we made self-promotion. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, we did make that one. So, and this is one of the variants of the... There are actually two variants of... Elemental Gear Bolt, I unfortunately only have one. And here's the back of the disc. So. Did they ever give out this cool necklace on the cover? No, I don't think they Because that seems like it did. would be like the umake or omake thing that yeah. they would give away. No, or... I don't believe so. But with this with this game, they released a special Assassin's Pack, which was a, a suitcase. And I believe only 40 of them were made, and only, I think, a few of them are confirmed out there wow. in the wild. Uh, where the they had yeah basically <laughs> got to catch them all right so they had these gun cons that were painted gold and with the game placed inside of uh, it's kind of like a suitcase or a toolbox or something like that so if you have one of those it's really rare and not many of them are out there and I think the last time they went on eBay they went for like I want to say 2500 or 25 grand. I can't cheap, quite remember. Cheap, cheap. Probably oh, 2500 You just remember you got this in case you're looking to store their games. Oh, if Where's you're looking to store your games, this is just like it's a... Like IKEA it's thing. It's a two-pack of boxes from Ikea. I, it works really well for my games. So, so If you're looking to store them, this is a good option. Yeah. Now, this is Silhouette Mirage. This is a funky little action game funky, by the makers... <laughs> By the makers of of uh, games like Gunstar Heroes and oh gosh, what are the games? Oh, they made a fantastic shoot 'em up. So, and this is a treasure. This game wasn't quite as shiny as Elemental Gear Bolt, but uh, nonetheless, the reason this game I think probably sold a lot more was because of the exclusive Lunar 2 movie that was included. Now, anybody that knows Working Lunar. Designs knows Lunar. That was the biggest game. That I, I would say that's probably the biggest game they released. Like yeah, well, we'll get we'll get to that point. Oh, fine. I got one more <laughs> one more to show off here. I with this one. <laughs> well, this is Silhouette Mirage, and I it, it's a really quirky game, but I I think it's great. It's fantastic. It's it's another treasure classic. And uh, finally, of the you know just the regular kind of boxes that I have here for the PS One games is Vanguard Bandits. Now this game in Japan was known as Epica Stella. 
when they brought it up. Uh, fun fact, when they were trying to bring it over here for the first time, Working Designs called it Detonator Gauntlet. So uh, Midway was not too happy about that, considering they own the trademark on the word Gauntlet, you know, Gauntlet Legends, uh, all, all the Gauntlet games, basically. Uh, so, they, game. mm -hmm. so they had to change the name to Vanguard Bandits. And uh, just to show you. Now, this, this game here had two variants. It had this character here as well as a yellow mech. And if you find the version with the yellow mech on there, it's rarer than the... On the inside, the not one. on the outside, right? Uh, yeah, it's, it's... So it's on the disc. It's oh, on the okay, disc, okay, yeah. Okay. It's on the disc. Now, uh, so we finished looking at the regular size PSX releases. Now, this is what I think is or the cream of the crop of what Working Designs did. The deluxe packaging for their PlayStation 1 games. So here we have, let's start with Lunar, because it came out first. Did you do this one? Uh, that's my uh, duplicate copy of Lunar 2, which oh, I have okay. out here. Okay. <laughs> so, All right. always good to have an extra. So this is sure. Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Now the original version of this game came out on the Sega CD, and Working Designs did that version as well, but I don't have it. So this box, it has a nice cardboard flap out here that you open it up. I and, love the cardboard flap. And it shows you it shows those. you a preview of what's inside. Yeah, it, it would be really nice. It shows you a preview of what's inside, as well as a little film strip here showing all the uh, cutscenes from the game. And let's open this sucker up. You know, this game probably had, I think it had five or six disc variants, and one of them was a special fan edition, which is believed to be pretty what rare. Where the where the packaging was pretty much drawn by a fan, and inside. they and they uh, oh yeah, <laughs> where the disc packaging was done uh, by a by a fan of the game, and they put featured that fan's art on the discs. So uh, if you can find that version, hang on to it because it's, cool. it's worth some money. That. Yeah. And then this is the cloth map that came with the game. Unfortunately, I I'm not going to open it up because it's taped shut. And I don't want to tear the bag. Really, I don't want to tear the bag. Yeah. So it's kind of like a lens cloth type of material, but it's got the map on there, which I think is really cool. And so this game came across two discs, and these are the two discs. Now, like I said, there's variations on the disc. And one really cool thing here is, not sure if you can see it, but on the bottom here it tells you the uh, the coding number for the discs. So this is Just SL. Close. This is SLUS 00628C. And that letter at the end marked which version of the game you had, or the vi which version of the disc art. The game inside is the same, but the disc color or the disc art is different across the various uh, versions. So that's how you know which version you have. But in addition to that, Lunar Complete came with a making of Lunar disc as well as a soundtrack, and then on the back featured some really saucy art. <laughs> and then we listened to the Kirby soundtrack the other day in the car. Yeah, that's really cool. Well, anyways, this is the Lunar Lunar Silver Star Story manual. This thing is hardcover, comes with a little bookmark, so it's like having a hardcover book that came with your game. And the art in here is in full color. They did not cheap out on this, and it's got art artwork from the game, and gives you all the little. Um, you know, menus and, and things like that, character info, as well as the interviews with the various people that worked on the game in Japan. So various people from Game Arts who created the Lunar series. Now, of course, Lunar 2, the sequel, the much lauded and cons considered, for the most part, superior to Lunar 1, is Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. Now, this game has similar box art style, uh, box style to, uh, oh yeah, I'll get to that in a minute, uh, to the uh, first Lunar release. So here, the same style, it tells you, you know, shows you what's inside. Here's the film strip and the, the art on the back. And here are the contents of the Lunar 2 complete box. There is the game, of course. Now, for this version, I'm not sure how many variants there were. This is the know. first. Let us know. Yeah, let us know. I, I believe there's two of them. There's probably more, but uh, I, I've only seen one. 
And this is, the, if you look here, this is ends with the letter A, so it's either the first one or the second one. Uh, so this game, here's the two discs. Actually, I came across three discs. And here's the third disc here. And here's the making of Lunar 2 complete disc. Now, this also has a soundtrack, which is in this booklet here. And so here's the uh, soundtrack list. But what's really cool about this flap is it also has a space for the Lunar 2 demo that was included with Vanguard Bandits. You could pass me the Vanguard Bandits. So on the back here is the Lunar 2 demo. So if you want all of your Lunar 2 contents in one box, it left space for that. That's cool that they thought of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, the Lunar 2 manual. Not only is the do I think the coloring on the front is awesome, but the pages have this kind of... It's a blue Bible. It, it's a blue leaf. I don't know. I guess it's a gold leaf. Blue leaf, we call it. Kind of uh, just coloring to the edges of the, of the manual, which looks really nice. Has two, read them, two bookmarks. So you can be looking at, you know, the menu options at the same time as you're looking, you know, and have it marked for the... Uh, lyrics for the songs, let's say you want to do that. Or maybe you want to highlight a specific part where they're showing you what the weapons are, or maybe what all the magic spells do for each character. So, interesting, like, you know, little... Uh, tidbit. Yeah, tidbit about the manual. Now, this is what I think is the is the thing that kind of pulls it together. This is the Omake box. Omake, as far as I can tell, means bonus. Uh, any Japanese... Anybody native with Japanese can tell me otherwise, but uh, that's what I'm just going to say right now. <laughs> so uh, the first thing you notice is this you know, nice, thick cardboard box, and it's, it's pretty hefty in there, so nothing cheap here. And this is the map that comes with the R2, so it's got some nice art in the back. And here is the map of the world. And another cool thing that came with were these little character standees. I'm gonna Jalion. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Let's play. <laughs> so game. yeah, if if you wanna you know play it out in this way, have at it. But I thought that was re one really cool bonus. You gotta be careful with them. Yeah, you gotta be like... very careful because if you bend them, you can break them at these little seams right here. Little paper dudes. Yeah, little paper dudes. And finally, what I think was the best part of this is the pendant based off of the game's heroine. And on the back, it has stamped Working Designs 2000. Here's the lady, too, on the back. Yeah. So. So you gotta be full legit and wear yeah. that while you're playing the game. Right, exactly. Fully immerse yourself in the game's world. You gotta put on, like, Ash Ketchum hat when you're playing Pokemon, too. That's right. That's so, what I do. That is Lunar 2 Eternal Blue. Now, and one thing I forgot to mention were the awesome guides that were released during the PlayStation era as well. No, you can keep that one there. Okay. Oh, the Alundra guide. Yeah, bring that over Well, here. I was going to grab this one, too. Here you go. Yeah, well, Alundra and Vanguard Bandits both had strategy guides. Now, at first, Working Designs was going with paperback, and later, uh, for later games, they went with hardcover. Really durable, really nice. I mean, uh, the Lunar guide is nice, but it's, as you can see from the... Uh, edges here. It's not too durable, but it's paperback, so what do you oh, expect? Oh, we forgot the Pop Vanilla Guide again. Oh, well, I'll show that later. We'll show it eventually. Yeah. So this is the Alundra Guide, just so you can see what it's what's in there. You know, it's a uh, little, kind of like the manual uh, styles from uh, Lunar, from the two Lunar releases, so you get a, a walkthrough of the game, these little bonuses included. Oh, and stickers on the back. Cool little bonuses like stickers, which Working Designs was known for doing on their Saturn games as well. Oh, and look, memory card stickers. These went on the uh, front... Well, I don't have a memory card. In front card. of the memory card. Well, the front I'm sure of the memory you know what it looks card. like. Yeah. So if you have the memory card, here's a sticker here, and then there's another sticker that goes here, so you know what... If you have your memory cards lined up in a row, you know what those memory cards have. So that's... And this is Vanguard Bandits. Again, similar style to the uh, Lunar manuals, full color, Excuse me. bonuses, Stuff. more stickers, and hold on, there's... I know those stickers. Oh yeah, they came with stickers, and more stickers, and memory card stickers. I'm still waiting for my Hyrule Historia to ship from Amazon, I'm like, dying. Yeah, and 
And if you wanted to, you could order a free Bandits poster. You just had to pay for shipping hand. And so now we are back one into the guides. You pass me the little, uh, I'll grab it. Similar, you know, they don't skip on content here. They show you, they even got, you know, things like anime checks and story checks, tell you where you are in case you forgot. I like this authentic little, you know, true gamer soda stain on the edge. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> things happen. It just happen. means that you liked it. That doesn't mean. Yeah, that just means I used it, right? Yeah. And so here, the stickers with the memory cards, stickers, and, oh, well, that's not kid-friendly, but here are the bromides. These are collectible uh, cards featured in the game, and uh, here they are in sticker form. So, and it's like my Ocarina of Time guy. They like tape it back together four times. Pretty much, you know, if you use it, you kind of. Now, as I mentioned, Lunar Two, I haven't played that much of it, so this guide is in actually pretty good condition, you know, considering the t you know how often I used it. But uh, so here's you know more of the stickers. And it's got a little bonus comic on the back. And, uh, you know, information on monsters and things like that. Now, personally, Up Next is my favorite working designs game. I know a lot of people are really hung up on Lunar. But I just really prefer, personally, the Ark the Lad collection. It's, I believe, four games in one. Yeah, it's, it's one, two, three, and Arc Arena, which is like a Pokemon-style game for Arc the Lad. So here's a little preview of what's to come. And let's open this up. That one. As you can tell, I've played this game quite a bit, so the box is, is a little more flimsy than it was when I first bought it, but it's okay. Now, this is the Arc the Lad game, and the really cool thing about this case is it's a case designed to hold four discs. But, they somehow were able to fit six, three per side. That's cool. How many people, you know, can do that with a case? So, as I was saying, these, each of these games came with different disc variants. This is B, the B variant. Uh, I believe you have the A variant, which is just black and red with the main characters on there. So, uh, I like yours better, but whatever. Yeah. This is Arclad 1. To Arc Arena, which is that Pokemon style game I was talking about. Here's Arc the Lad 3. Came across two discs because it had, I believe this is the first time in the series they had 3D art. I could be mistaken. But there was a lot of there are a lot of cutscenes on this. And here's Arc the Lad, the making of disc. And the cool thing about this disc, it might be featured on the other making of discs, but there was a cool little mini game if you put in a code at the menu. And in, in Arc the Lad, there's one that lets you play uh, checkers with the in-game enemies, in-game slimes being the pieces. So I thought that was kind of cool. And here is the manual. Arc the Lad Collection Manual. Now, it's amazing that they were able to fit information from three, or actually four games in one manual. So you've got information on all the characters, what magic spells they use as well as some information on the on just how to play the game, basically. And this is the Omake box, which, unfortunately, is missing some pieces here at the top. You'll notice uh, some of these slots. Those were for thumb pads for your PlayStation 1, so you just, you know, stuck these little pads over your thumbsticks, and they had uh, the characters' faces on there and things like that. It's a Kurbenda thumb... Thumbware, I guess, right? No, I mean, like... Injuries. Yeah, thumb, thumb injuries, injuries yeah. Maybe. And then this is the these are the character standees that came in the game. You've already seen them for Lunar 2. I don't want to break these out of the plastic. <laughs> so I'm leaving them in here. Now this is the Arc the Lad uh, memory card case. And so far there have been three confirmed variants of the memory card case. And so far the only way anybody's been able to figure out where they come from, it's, it's random. You'll randomly get one of three, even though there's two variants of Arc the Lad. Mm. So, and then here's my memory card, just so you can, well, just so you can see it, it's that. I actually like the red one, that was like my favorite color too for the memory cards. Yeah. And the green, the green was cool. And then this, the reason, the other reason I liked Arc the Lab was this beast of a Bible of a guide. And the, the best part about this is this is only for two games. This only covers Arc the Lab 1 and 2. Not even the third one. There was supposed to be one for the third one, but unfortunately it was canceled. 
and uh, I, I don't know if we'll ever see any kind of remnants of it, but you know, I'm kind of bummed that it was never released to, uh, to print. But, well, as you can tell from the guide, you, you can kind of look at it see this bindings come apart a little bit. I use this book quite a bit. I, I love this I love this series, and I went back to this guide quite a bit just to check out all the cool little bonus things that they throw in there. And so you can see, you know, this is where I was starting to replay Arc the Lad 1. Maybe this is where I was starting to play 2 here. But you get three bookmarks for the price of one book. And this thing was $30 when it came out, which is probably about uh, only $10 more than regular guides are these days. The little thin flapjack ones. But uh, this would probably be 40 or $50 bucks, um, in today's dollars. So... Well worth the money. Well, well worth it for any fan of Arc the Lad. I actually remember when you walked in and bought this. So. Yeah, I bought it. Okay. Not GameStop, e but EB, EB right? Games. Yeah. yeah, EB Games, back when they were not bought out. Mm -hmm.